Well, we're going to turn now to a big game hunter who now has a huge target on her own back. The outdoors TV show host has sparked shock and outrage for posting photos of herself smiling alongside animals she'd killed. And now there's a growing petition to drive to keep her out of at least one country for good. ABC's Lana Zak is in South Africa with more. This is the shocking image that has sparked international outrage. The bright smile of Melissa Bachman stands in stunning contrast to the carcass of the king of the jungle lying lifelessly in front of her. Not a bad way to start out your first day in Africa. <laughs> Bachman, a Minnesota native, travels around hunting animals big and small as the host of Winchester Deadly Passion. <laughs> what an absolutely beautiful animal. Check out the size of this wreck. Even donning a bikini to go bow fishing, her show and blog had achieved little attention before now. But her shooting an African lion, though legal, ignited a firestorm. It absolutely disgusts me, uh, this whole story and the, the picture and how she can sit there with such pride and smile away at something that is so disgusting and gruesome. Lions like these are beloved in Africa, but a new report says 75% of the wild lion population has been killed in the last 20 years, and new estimates that they'll be extinct from the wild in the next decade. And it isn't just the lion that has so many outraged. Images in her website, Trophy Room, shows her proudly posing with dead bears, alligators, even childhood photos of her kills. Thousands are so appalled that they've signed a petition demanding she never be allowed to return to South Africa. Look at the size of this thing. We reached out to Bachman and her show, but received no comment to counter the many angry comments online. Most too angry for morning television. But one poster explained, it's not the hunting part that people have a problem with. It's the total lack of regard for creatures that aren't meant to be eaten or hunted. Lana Zak, ABC News, Hauteng Province, South Africa. Some of that is very tough to watch.